Hi friends, this is Ms. Amalia at the Trenton Veterans Memorial Library saying thank you for stopping by on our Try It Thursday. Today's Try It Thursday is a project that I started working on Saturday. <laughs> it's called the Grass Head. Um, basically, when this is finished, which should be in about a few days, you'll have this beautiful face and on top should be a lovely shock of green grass hair. As you can see, it hasn't really grown yet but I'm gonna show you how to make one. So first things first, what we need to get is our supplies together. So we take a cup, um, which is like about a nine ounce cup. Um, if you wanna use styrofoam, that's fine too. It's just something that probably um, can handle water and can handle soil. We're gonna be using regular potting soil. This is the indoor potting mix I've used. A cup for measuring out your potting soil. Um, some grass. You want grass that grows quickly. You can also use other types of seeds um, if you want more of a curly look or if you want something to look, um, yeah, any kind of seed would probably do as long as it's fast growing just because, well, the story is it's as boring as watching grass grow. So <laughs> you don't want to make it too boring or, you know, eh, well, it's kind of soothing to watch grass grow too because as we can see outside our windows right now it's starting to get greener and brighter every day so let's put this to the side and we also need some glue dots or you can use regular glue because what you're going to also do is decorate your cup and it's hard to find it well it's not hard i should say um it's a little challenging to find adhesive um for googly eyes and also, if you want, instead of using already um, these foam pieces already have adhesive on them, you can use the glue dots to make it happen. Um, or like I alluded to earlier, like if you want to use a paper cutout, or if you want to even take a photo and put a photo on top of this, um, it kind of makes a really cool image, or a really cool grass head to use your own face. <laughs> so to begin, let's start decorating our grass head. So what we're going to do is take an eye. You might want to do a bigger eye, but the problem is, is that it's going to kind of go a little bit to the side of your project. So it might be too big. So find one that's just right for you. And for me, this one is just right. So we're going to take this blue dot. Oh, and of course, before you begin, make sure that your place that you're working at, hey, the, the glue dot stuck to me. So, luckily I have more glue dots. Um, I wanted to make sure that your, the place that you're working at is protected from dirt and it also makes dirt a lot easier to clean up when you can just put it together. All right, so these glue dots may have dried up. Let's get another one. Third time is a charm, right? All right, you know what? I should always do my trick to make makes it a little bit easier. Let's put the blue dot where you want your eye to go and then attach the eye. So for example, oh, <laughs> that one jumped right out of my hand. And come on, glue dot. Come on, eye. Some days I say gravity is a little bit stronger and seems to take things the ground a lot faster. So today might be a very high gravity day and that's okay. So let's get the other eye and or I should say other glue dot and attach it where we want it to go. It's gonna look up. Oh my goodness. Would you look at that? I think I need two glue dots there. Well every day is an adventure. Goodness gracious, <laughs> every day is an adventure when you're crafting. And sometimes, there we go, ta-da, success. All right, so we've learned that two glue dots do the trick when before one glue dot did the trick. But every day is an adventure and every day you learn something new. And sometimes you learn something new regardless if you wanted to or not. So let's get that other glue dot here and get my eyeball or googly eye 
I just like googly eyes. I think they make everything a lot more interesting. I could use a little less interesting right now though. Okay, got it. Yay. And so my next step is I want to create a nose. And I do have some of these adhesive pieces. I think red. I feel a bit like a clown right now. So let's do red. Maybe oval? I wonder if I go green. <laughs> Goodness gracious. All right. Perhaps <clears throat> this one needs like an eye patch or something so that I ran out of glue that said. So perhaps this one needs like an eye patch. It's a pirate. That's what it is. It's a pirate. We're gonna try one more time because I am stubborn. It's good to know things about yourself. <laughs> well, friends, this actually did work a lot better the other time that I did this. So let's try one more time. I'm, I apologize for the inadvertent comedy routine. All right, is that googly? That looks like it's not that great, but it's googly enough. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna kind of round off this oval and turn it into a circle, make it a shorter oval. I think I'm gonna not press my luck any further than I've already pressed it. There we go. We got her. You've got to be kidding me. <laughs> oh dear. I think it does want to be a pirate, obviously. All right, perfect. And then we're going to add a mouth. If it had a mouth, it would be laughing at me. So let's make a laughing mouth. How about blue? All right. So let's take that smile. Let's take a frown and turn it upside down and make it a smile. That's not too bad. Kind of like it. So our next step after we get this out of our way is we're going to add some dirt to our cup. So as this is an eight and a, half, a nine and ounce cup, we're going to take about a regular cup size like so and then just add it in there. We don't want it to go all the way at the top because we do have to add some seeds. So just measure it. Got a cup. Oh, there we go. Another eye. Fell off again. I think we should just do a count of how many times those eyes fall off. It happened again. Oh my goodness. So perhaps glue dots are not the way to go. We can just do regular old regular old um, Elmer's glue or white glue, it's for cement, anything but glue dots, because those are just not what is needed right now. So I've added my cup of dirt to my cup. And now what I'm gonna do is get some Elmer's glue and try and attach that eyeball again. I wonder if maybe it just takes a longer time of um, drying before moving on, like how to press it for like 10 seconds. Maybe that's my issue. But <clears throat> let's see if this glue will work. And of course, my glue is all stopped up. Well, let's try putting this one back on. And, or it could be that I'm pressing it a little bit too much and then it's just popping off because there's nowhere else to go. So what we're gonna do next is we're gonna add our seeds. You wanna get a good amount and kind of give yourself a little bit of a area for them because you need to have them spread out a bit. So a tablespoon, or in this case, a couple teaspoons, a tablespoon being three teaspoons, that looks like a lot. So, just want to get a nice layer. So I would say probably less than a tablespoon. And you just want to cover them back off, back up lightly. 
because they need to come out. And then water your cup regularly. And you're almost done. And I think I do want to grab some more dirt to go on top. So. That's basically it. And after we finish this step, and we're gonna add a little bit more dirt on here. I'm just thinking that I need to preserve a little bit. There we go. Just wanna cover them up just slightly and pat them down gently. There we go. Hmm, I think I need more some more dirt there. Again, always important to cover your work area so it makes easier cleanup. And as previously discussed, I am kind of a messy crafter. So <laughs> we're gonna stop right there with the pressing down. It just seems like maybe I have more seeds than I needed. So anyway, so we're just gonna add some water, drench it, Another idea, if you'd like to do this, is to add some pebbles to the bottom of this cup. Just because these cups obviously don't have any drainage, you want to give it a good soak. But you don't want to give it too much water because then the poor seeds drown. So my friends, this is our project of the, well, grass, good gracious, grass head. <laughs> um, this one seems to be fighting me today. This one has already been finished and it'll take about five to seven days or maybe even seven to 10 days for it to grow, depending on the type of grass seed that you have. Have patience and enjoy the craft. Thank you for stopping by on our Try It Thursday. I hope you get a chance to complete this craft. Um, if you do, please send us a picture. Uh, we would love to see it of what your grass head looks like when it's done um, or in process. Thanks again and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.